entered the Iowa Corn building with one goal, two goals. Shoot the best video content we could shoot and eat them <laughs> the rest out of, of house Donna's and home <laughs> of mints. And we did both those things. So good job. Yeah. I mean, we set out, we, we achieved what we set out to. It's, and it was in budget and in time frame. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wins. The deliverables were met. Do we have to add expenses? Another <laughs> bag of three nineteen dollars. Yeah, three dollars and nineteen cents. Uh, sorry, Lori. So, yeah, sorry, Lori. If we get charged for that. But yeah, yeah welcome back, everybody. Yeah. It's good to be sitting back here. I am rusty. Yeah, we're a little rusty. We're a little rusty. I mean, I shouldn't be. John Schaefer's introductory podcast was officially the first one back but we wanted to bring it back to where we left you all before a break back in November yeah geez I know <laughs> we abandoned <laughs> no everyone. no no yes, that sounds did. bad yeah we did we were just like <laughs> just kidding we warned you we told you we were taking yeah. a break but it was a long time I was like I, I miss sitting down and chatting with people I do too I kind of miss this little banter we got I going definitely on we do we talked about a little I mean Hopefully Sam will edit out some of the things we talked about before we really start. Yeah, no, he said never, which is the truth. We need to work. He always puts our self, best selves forward, and uh -huh. we could Oh, is that it? What he does? Yeah, our authentic self. There we go, our authentic <laughs> self. Yeah. Well, why don't we go through a few current events, kind of pop culture. What? Who are you jealous of in the news this week? In pop culture or just in news? Yeah, same. I, I get my news from E! Entertainment, so <laughs> it's all <laughs> it's the, the same. same. <laughs> I was thinking about this. and like, who am I jealous of this week? Because I knew we were going to be talking about it. And I was talking with the girls. I'm like, I'm kind of jealous. I'm a big Chiefs fan. Okay. And I'm jealous of the people that get to go to the game on Sunday, I think. And then I yeah. kept going down a hole. I'm like, I'm jealous of the people that have went to a game this year at all. Have you ever been to? Yeah. Yeah. It gets better. Okay. I'm jealous of the people that have been to a game since 2019. That's the last time I've been at a Chiefs game. So anyone that's been in Arrowhead. Well, I went to Arrowhead this summer, but it was like for a Garth Brooks concert. It's not the same. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> Brooks brings a whole different energy. Garth Brooks. That was the best concert I've ever been to, Garth Brooks. Concert. Yeah, he was good. It was crazy. Like, the whole stadium was packed, and, like, everyone knew every word. I did not, but... What? I know. You listen to country music. I know, but I, I know, like, some. Like, Don't say, the... I'm too young for Garth Brooks, because I'll shut this whole thing down right now. I'm not in the mood <laughs> to be Okay, we'll harassed. move on. <laughs> I just can't. we got to quit... Hiring these young people because <laughs> I just, I'm getting closer to the top of the eight. Like, there's a few people ahead of me, but I don't know. Left. No, there's not. There's not much room for me. Like, I don't know. I just need to feel young and alive again. And I don't know. Maybe this podcast will bring it back, but no, yeah. because you're just talking about being too young for your Garth Brooks songs. <laughs> now we're fighting. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. We missed you. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a good, that's a good. One to yeah. be jealous of. My Chiefs fans out there, like, get it done. So it what's this game Sunday mean? I got to be honest. Um, I... They will just go to the AFC Championship. All right. And so that'll be next week. And then that game will get them to the Super Bowl. I say will because they. Who are they playing this year? The Bills. I'm sure people are, like, screaming, like, God. <laughs> Sorry. I... I know there's no Bills fans out there. No. <laughs> there's not. Caitlin Bristow, she's even like a fake Bills fan. Oh, she's, she's from so Canada. Fake. I know. Get out of here. And she makes it known that she's from Canada. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> okay. That's a Canadian thing. I don't it know is. if it's Canadian or American. I'm like, you've been in America for years. Yeah. Like. She needs to stop. I can't. I'd be like, yeah, I don't know. That's a cute <sighs> Cook County thing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what are you jealous of? Who are you jealous of? All right. Well, I'm jealous of a couple different One's a person, one's not. The first one would be your Christmas tree because finally <laughs> it's put away in the box. It's done performing for everybody. It just gets to take the break that it so lovingly deserves. Right. And also it shouldn't have been out that long. I know. I was, last week I kept looking at it. I'm like, I need to put this. It was draining me, like just staring at it. I'm like, you need to go away in your box, take a nice <laughs> little break. Yeah. And we'll see you in December. But like, I finally got it done did the clean and I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. Refresh. It mine came down the day after Christmas. 
Oh, see, yeah. I like to keep it up till New Year's. It's depressing for me. Oh. The day after Christmas is so sad to me <laughs> because it's like it's over. We have been we have been anticipating this day. Like here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, and we have it. It's great. You mm-hmm. see family, you do all those things, and then it's the day after. It's just like the world's worst hangover. It's like it's done. And all like the time and yeah. thought you put into yes. it. Yes. For that one day. And I'm just, I don't even want to look at it anymore. I don't even want to. Like, we yeah. are done. It's a trigger. It is a trigger. It's like the day after your wedding when you have to clean all that shit up, which I left my poor family and friends to do. So thank you for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. It is. So yeah, I'm jealous of your Christmas tree. I'm also jealous of anyone doing those Celine Dion TikToks right now where they like bring the people out and they blow the fans in their faces and the baby, baby, baby. <laughs> So jealous. We I will, need to recreate that we for you. do. Oh, you my God. I drive to work some mornings. I just shut all the music off. Like, I just think about it. I'm like, how would I do that? It would not be as good as some of these creative people. That we could do it. We could get the garage going. We could get Rodney on the camera taking pics. I know. I, I know. You could get a fan, I'm sure. Yeah. And are you, you're finally on TikTok now, aren't you? Bing bangs on TikTok. Bing bangs on TikTok. Therefore, the app is on my phone. So do you, are you sucked in? No. Good for you. I'm really weird. Like, I'm the social media gal, but, like, I keep social, like, social media to me is work. So, like, I set my boundaries with that, and I don't really look at it a lot. But you create, like, your own, I can see you bring your creativity into your own feed. We'll say. (laughs) If you go on a trip. You're creating a reel about that trip. Yeah, I'd rather create, instead of post a picture on the trip, I'd rather create a little video for it. I've always been, like, like ever since high school, I've liked to do that just to look back at all the memories and stuff. I've always enjoyed doing that so part. Cute. I did one of those for my kids when they were decorating for back to the Christmas tree stuff. And I put the little um, Peanuts Christmas song behind it. Oh. It's like, this is going to make It's a cool. moment. Mm-hmm. So next year, when I look at it, and they're grown up and they're old (sighs) they can take care of themselves yeah all right well (laughs) welcome back I know we uh we are excited about I guess are we calling this season is this are we just a continuation of the season these are details I should know but now that you are handling the behind (laughs) the scenes stuff I don't it's a continuation but we can call it what it's our third year we're in 2022 yes season three okay kicking it off Season three, and I kind of, um, I was thinking about this last night, and I was like, I'm really excited to sit back down and talk about it. The podcast has evolved and grown up, and it's come a long way from where it started. I mean, we started, this this podcast truly is a COVID baby, as they call it, when people got bored and <laughs> COVID babies happened. What do we do next? What do we do? We have a baby. We birthed a podcast. We did. We birthed a podcast and we just definitely threw ourselves into it. Um, but I'm so glad that we did because if we if we hadn't done that, we never would have gotten it started. Yeah. So I think we booked our first couple guests and we just did it. We didn't really have a format. I take that back. We had a format, but it quickly grew out of that format. And I'm glad that it did because it's it's a much more organic type of situation now. So we had started as a COVID baby. We were nervous. I said, awesome, probably 80 times per episode at everything the guests said. We've cut that down to 40. Yeah, we have. <laughs> Things are awesome. I'm sorry. They are. Um, people are awesome. People are. And the stories that they told are incredible. And I did learn a lot from all the guests. And then, what, about a year into it, we really hit our groove. But the format was loosey goosey. We really weren't. I mean, we were just talking to people, which is what I really want to do anyway. Mm-hmm. And now, season three, we're really leaning into that. We're still just talking to people. The format's kind of come back, but in a different way, which I'm excited about. And we're just gonna focus on those story, those stories. Mm-hmm. Really, the story. Um, we want to make sure that people come in here. They have that story to talk about because that's you know what people want to hear. That's what people want to talk about. Um, and I'm excited. Everyone is so excited to bring in guests. They have, we have a list started. Mm-hmm. So, oh my gosh. But I guess mostly we want to hear from you guys too. Like, who do you want to see on here? Who, Absolutely. What kind of stories do you want to hear? I mean, it's just, this has been so much fun. I can't even describe how much Who's your been. dream guest to get on the podcast this oh year? Oh my goodness. My dream guest? Let's manifest this son okay. of a gun. Okay. You know, 
originally my dream guest was, and Brandon was always like, we need to get Chrissy Teigen on here for you. <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> I do love her. I think she'd probably say no. Um, I want to get probably another podcaster on here. Mm. Who do I want that to be? We already kind of shit on Caitlin Bristow, so it's probably not going to be her. <laughs> She's like, no thanks. We could shit on her and still like her. True. I so, respect that. I, I do, too. <laughs> She'd do the same to me, I'm sure. I'm like, oh, excuse me? Um, let me think about that. You put me on the spot. I'm Who, so sorry. No, I'm glad that you did. I Because I, I've asked you all, so I also need to be doing my homework. I was talking because I saw your email come through. I was on my way down to Missouri. And I asked my mom, I'm like, who would be a dream guest to have on our podcast? She's like, Kirk Ferentz. I'm like, yep, that'd yeah. be kind of cool. He would be great. It would be an interesting convo because I see him as, like, so reserved. Mm-hmm. But it would be cool to see what he comes off with. And yeah. It'd be fun. I would say um, awesome so many times in <laughs> Awesome. You're really hot, and I love you. Yeah, I do love you. I've always said um, they need to cast. I probably said it on here before, so if I have, sorry, uh, Kevin Costner to play him. Yeah, yeah, that'd and be good. I would like happily play his wife. Yeah, he uh, needs that supporting if role. He wants that. Yeah, I'm hey <laughs> available. You know, I am a, a wife. lot of acting experience. A mother, I know how to be those things. Kirk Ferentz, that's a good one. Yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun and doable, too, tangible. Yeah. We can get it done. We put out a request for Kurt Warner, and we haven't – we need to get that footage to you so we can put it out there. Basically, it's Sam and I sitting at this table begging Kurt Warner to come onto the podcast, (laughs) and we're not, you know, we're not too proud to put that out into the world. We'll we'll beg. (laughs) I'll do more than beg. I don't know what that means. (laughs) I'll do whatever you need me to do. I'll sing. I'll sing. I'll dance. Sing. I'll beg. I'll beg while I sing. It is it is good. But yeah, we're really looking forward to that. So I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to reach out. Um, I mean, email us. DM us. We always want you to be out there um, reviewing the podcast if you are listening, if you are a fan, and tell us what we could work on. Not too harsh because I don't take criticism well. But, I'll filter it for her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What are you looking forward to the most as we kick this off? I am excited for the people to bring on just because the thing that's so special about this is that in podcasting in general is you're able to have real conversations with people. It's not like a five minute, here's what I'm trying to sell. No, 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 no. It's like, no, like let us learn about you Mm -hmm. and what story you have to tell from your point of view and I think that's so powerful and so cool and that's what I love listening to Mm -hmm. on my ride here I love listening to interviews with people and learning even like information that I didn't even know I needed like I listened to one about human design the other day I'm like what the heck is that why do I care about that and I'm like wow that was actually really kind of cool and I learned something from it so people have so much to share and it's really exciting to be able to share that on here it is exciting and I and I even want people I don't want only people to learn about our guests but I want people to learn more about the people here too because I learn new things about my coworkers every single day and I'm like what are you talking about right but that's so interesting and and if that's something they want to share I want them to come on here and share and I think that's where we're going to make those connections between guest and whoever the co-host is at the time and it's it's really interesting I know I'm I'm the same way I used to listen to just um like murder podcasts (laughs) But it, it, it's good because you do learn the whole story and people give me a hard time about it. But I'm like, I'm not, it's not about the murder at all. It's about the story about that, that person and about, you know, the circumstances around it and how justice was served and all that. But I have gone outside my comfort zone. I do listen to a lot of like self, self-help and just like goal oriented. And mm-hmm. it's so interesting that you can listen to anything Right. On a podcast. So we appreciate that you even do put Jealous Podcast into your queue because that's, right. that's amazing. Because we do. We want to talk about a wide range of topics. It's not so niche. And no. so, yeah, being able to get anything and everything, anything you guys are interested in, please let us know. And we'll do our best to get someone on here and talk about it. And we can get what they're jealous of out of them. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. So when we left you, we left you and we were – we were kind of 
um, shoving the fact down your throat that you should take a break and breaks are important. Mm -hmm. So what did you learn on your break, Shelby? Um, I honestly think that it's okay to take one. And like, we were talking about like signs you need to know when you take a break. And like, I was experiencing those signs. And in my head, I'm like, no, 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 go, go, go. Mm -hmm. But like, once I finally like said, you're not doing anything today. I was like, wow. And I remember driving in our first Monday back. I'm like, I feel good. Here we go. First Monday of the new year. Like, and I was super pumped. So I learned that it's okay. You can say it, but like actually applying it, it is okay. Doing it. I know. I even, I felt the exact same way. There was a lot of downtime, um, just away from work and away from the busyness and away from like creating content, as I say, just, just being with, being in the moment, mm -hmm. being with your family, being with your friend, being with whoever, being by yourself. There was a couple of days I sent my kids to daycare and my husband was off doing whatever. And I was just like, you just feel that need to like pick up my computer and, and do something or apply yourself. And I, no, I just mm -hmm. didn't. And even um, last night I left my laptop at home and I was like, I have so many things to, to catch up on. And I'm like, stop. It can wait until the morning. Mm -hmm. It is not life or death situation. And totally. it's, Something I am learning, and I think a uh, number of things are, like, adding to that equation. It's just being a mom, being a business, you know, just a busy marketer, or, you know, we are all a lot of things to a lot of different people, and sometimes you have to be there for yourself and just be like, girl, just have some hot tea. Have a little wine. Just watch an episode of Outer Banks. Watch some Outer Banks. Get <laughs> some John B. in your life. Oh, my God, John B. Yeah. We could get him on here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's Thoughts? Thoughts? None. I got none. None? I'd oh. enjoy that. That'd be really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> him and his girlfriend on the show, who they were dating in real life, and they broke up. I know. They're just beautiful. But they're young. They're children. Yeah. Well... No, we discussed this. They're actually older than we thought. They play 16-year-olds on that show. Can I just tell you, <laughs> when oh I was God. 16, what I looked like? Oh, <laughs> you don't want to know what this looked like. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure you were uh, adorable. You showed me a picture last a couple weeks ago, and you're the cutest. <laughs> now, I asked my mom, like, I'll find pictures, you know. Like, I found a volleyball picture the other day um, that you take before the season when I was a freshman and I just looked at it and I, I showed it to her and I said, were you worried about this at any point? <laughs> like, did you, why what didn't you step in? Why didn't you raise your hand and say like, oh, we, the eyebrows, the hair, I mean. I All of it. I didn't have the resources that kids have now. <laughs> I know. Ki high schoolers these days. They, it's fun. You see those on Instagram and stuff too, where it's like, me at 15 <laughs> you're like at Libby Lou or like limited to <laughs> yeah like these kids at 15 you're like where did I miss and disconnect from any of this it was just the time and uh, and I mean I was younger at an earlier age than you were obviously we talked about it I'm fucking old excuse me <laughs> bleep that <laughs> but I am but yeah I, I don't know like bath and body works art it was called like art makeup I don't know it was pastel like frosted just like put some of that on no mascara just, <laughs> just that nice. and just slick the old hair back head to school <laughs> done and done <laughs> done and done and I'm like what's up what's up boys <laughs> you like this <laughs> you, li you like this like I did my makeup for you this morning yes I put it on with my finger it is white slash blue uh, but we're ready to party. I don't even know how we got on this tangent, but. At 8 a.m. on first period. Oh, Lord. I just. But it, you know what? It made us humble. Mm -hmm. And it taught value. us a lot. Yeah. I was relentless. You were loving what you did <laughs> and <laughs> fearless. I was definitely fearless. What the hell? But I do value that I had the confidence to just show up looking like that. But I also do feel better. Like, I don't know. I'm sure my friends looked similar. Oh, we all looked the same. <laughs> and now there's just a bunch of, like, teens who I'm like, oh. I can't even keep up with that at my age now. No, and they're going to, you know, they're going to experience burnout. They're not going to enjoy. They're going to look like me on the weekends here in a couple years. And they're like, oh, I spent all my youth 
getting ready for school. Yep. And I mean, you it's coming. slept. Yeah, you could have slept. You could have gone to Bath and Body Works and paid five dollars for a makeup palette that you put on with your finger. But no, you wasted those minutes, those hours. Mm-hmm. Wow. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> but coming back from a break, Ken, like you said, you came back recharged, refreshed. Mm-hmm. It can be hard sometimes when you do really lean into that break and you're like, uh oh. So how do you manage? coming back like did you have to pep talk yourself a little bit for a couple days or or no did it just come naturally like you just felt better I was ready like I remember even because you know you eat a lot around the holidays there's a lot of drinking Mm -hmm. and it was the Sunday before we got back and we were watching the Chiefs game and I'm like I really shouldn't have a beer like you've had a beer for a week (laughs) and I'm like nope it's your last day tomorrow's a new day and it's a start of a fresh start so I am really good at boundaries and like time like I have a timer on my phone like when all my apps shut off and I'm like you're not getting on Instagram after 8 30. Good (laughs) for you I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah Mm. I can show you. Yeah please do. Yeah no more TikTok scrolling at midnight. I was actually thinking about that I was thinking about that at 3 21 this morning and I don't brag because I'm up at that time. I actually, it's something I hate about myself, but I like something, the dog, the neighbor's dog barked this morning. So I was awake. That's the second time in a row. I know. It was coming through so loud. It was coming through the baby monitor. And that's how loud. And also Cash was sleeping in a big boy bed now and he fell out. Oh. (laughs) He rolled out. Me? Yeah. Yeah. He rolled out. So that had me awake too. But, um, oh, so, of course, I was just laying there. My thoughts were wandering. I'm like, I'll just check my phone. But I was thinking to myself, I wish that I knew that I was locked out of those things in the middle of the night. You can do that? I will show you how to do okay, it. Okay, good. Yep, and we I, will get it going. If it's not an option, right? then maybe my brain will be like, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't. Why did I check LinkedIn at 4 in the morning? Like, who the hell? No one's trying to connect <laughs> at 4 a.m. And if they are, they shouldn't be. If you are, you shouldn't be. That's all I'm going to say. And quit treating LinkedIn like it's your Facebook page. I'm also Preach going to say that. to that. Thank you. This is still a marketing podcast um, officially, so don't do that. It's annoying. You do like a can you not like marketing edition. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's no. Don't. That's a big no-no. It's a big no-no. No, that's not what LinkedIn exists for Mm -hmm. um it's also not a dating app so don't be (laughs) sending weird messages I just I don't know why I have to even be saying this but why do we need this PSA right now because people are misusing this app I know I feel like it should be a three no like maybe one or two strikes and you're out yeah but LinkedIn is also not helping the situation they're giving all those prompts say it's someone's birthday Oh, you send this person a message, and here's five different message options you can send. Yeah. No. Don't encourage me to use the app. And don't encourage <laughs> me to send someone a DM yeah. if I don't want to. Yeah. DMs are highly personable. They like, are. They're personal. Uh, get out of there. Yeah. I don't know. I agree. LinkedIn, we were talking about this yesterday. Like, it just, they almost have it together, but it's just not there like they were there yeah they're and then trying they, they're trying to be something they're not yes maybe that's the issue I don't want that from no LinkedIn did they get rid of the stories they did because they realized that's not who they are that's not who they are no yep. one wants that no nope. Twitter did that too which is good that's yeah. not no keep that to to Instagram keep but Instagram that. at one point People are like, what are these Instagram stories? Like, they're trying to copy Snapchat. Then all of a sudden, they just, like, everyone adapted to it. I know. But I can't, I'm into Instagram stories. I like Instagram stories. Like, at first, I would be, like, because I think they came out. I was in college or something. Oh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, I, was, I became a grandparent that same year. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, no one's going to use this. It's so stupid. It was also the same time Snapchat started getting filters. And you could be like a dog. (laughs) That tongue. Sorry. I was lecturing you for swallowing water. Yeah. that. (laughs) All my college memories are us in that freaking dog filter. Everyone thought it was so cool. It was cool. (laughs) Look, I'd be an adorable dog. Yeah. If none of this works out for me, I could be someone's lap dog. Yeah. Or what's that Mean Girls? 
<laughs> she, does, <laughs> she dress up as a cat? Does she say meow? Oh, she's a bunny. She's a bunny. Is it she? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm losing it. I'm going to get that wrong. Anyway. <laughs> Duh. Classic. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm surprised you're old enough to know about Baby Ruth and Miss Aladdin. <laughs> I know Mean Girls. Remember, yeah. that's what I reference when I'm showing uh, you how to do your reels. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. I think I sent that to you in an email last week. We're not a cool, we're not a regular marketing <laughs> team. We're cool marketing Jeez. Oh, man. All right. So you got to look forward to a lot more of this coming up you this do. year. I'm sorry. We're <laughs> on one, as they say. They probably don't say that anymore. What did I say this morning? Um, Stan? Yeah, Stan. Do you still say that? I We Stan. I don't know. I'm trying <laughs> to keep up with it all. It's just overwhelming. Mm. It's a little sus for me. I'm not going to lie. It's a little sus. <laughs> I said something yesterday. I said, anytime I use the word vibe, uh, Gen Z are like, stops mid TikTok and just barfs everywhere. Yeah. They're like, you shouldn't be doing that, lady. I did. I said it on a call the other day, and it was like kind of when I wanted to say woman earlier. I was like, it's uh, the vibe we want to bring. And I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say besides vibe? I don't know what existed before vibe. The feeling, the look and the feel. The, yeah, that the is, I guess. Aura. The, uh, yeah. Know, there's a lot of different words that can replace vibe, but you young kids have, <laughs> it's like all you I ruined said. us. You, you really ruined, ruined me. <laughs> From yeah. our sparkly rep- eyeshadow. <laughs> my reputation. I said it on a call the other day. She she was this incredible uh, client I was talking to, and I, I did. I said vibe. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> I'm acting like someone I'm not. <laughs> I think she's like. And that's not what you signed up for. A, just a tiny bit older than me. She's like, oh, no, that's okay. And then she said it later in the conversation. I was like, look at us. Grandma's just, we're vibing. <laughs> we're vibing it out. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, boy. But, yeah, we are so excited to be back. Um, I, we hope you really did take a break a little bit. We hope you enjoyed the holidays. I know that feels like forever ago at this point. Because it was, even though Shelby still had her Christmas tree up. No. <laughs> Christmas just got over last week. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Uh, reach out to us. Let us know what you want to hear. Mm-hmm. And be vocal about it. But be nice. <laughs> and and don't, don't send us LinkedIn messages. I know I said DMs earlier, but <laughs> don't do that. Don't do it. We've got Instagram. We've got Facebook. Even Facebook, don't do that either. It's Those are hard to find. Kind yeah, of. I don't not realize they're there until... No. Someone, like, brings it up to me in person. They're like, I messaged you. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. Didn't see it. Where is the best place to reach? I love Instagram. Send us a DM. I'd love to read a podcast review. I think those are awesome. It helps us in the algorithm so people can listen to us more. And we reach more people out there that want to hear some awesome, awesome stories. That's right. Do it. And maybe we'll incentivize you with a T-shirt or something. (gasps) We will incentivize you with a T-shirt. So go do it. Five stars or nothing, baby, though. I'm not, I'm not here. We out after that. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Shelby. You're welcome, Mackenzie. Bye. <laughs>